Using Cupping to Remove Inflammation. This presentation is by Dr. Liu. This is a picture of the cups in place on a knee. Cupping is used in acupuncture and in Chinese medicine. This myofascial inflammation cupping technique looks similar but is not the same. Please consult your acupuncturist for further information on that style. Cupping is a drug-free way to draw inflammation out to the surface so that it can flush out through the superficial venous system. It's much like IASTM, Instrument Assisted Soft Tissue Mobilization, but does not cause the same type of adhesion breaking. It's much like putting ice on an area that's inflamed and the cool area draws the heat out from the inside, thus letting it dissipate better. Contraindications to using cupping would be easy bruising, sensitivity to pressure therapy such as fibromyalgia, open wounds or rashes, allergies to the cocoa butter, or the patient doesn't like the feeling. Here's the cupping procedure that I use. Use a cream. I like to use a thick cream such as cocoa butter. Make the suction to the comfort of the patient. The skin will come about a half inch to an inch and it will be red. However, if it's super red, I do suggest you release it and go a little bit less until you know what your patient's tolerance is in reaction to the cupping you know, a day or two later. It's better to do less suction than too much, I believe, in the beginning. The goal is not to leave the circle hickeys or bruises as you see in the acupuncture technique using cupping. Afterwards, I always massage the area to flush it out to remove any of that inflammation. Apply the suction to the right amount based upon patient's comfort. Draw it up with a few pumps. Look at how high it goes up. Look how red it gets. And then you can slide the suction cup around and it can surround or be on the painful area. Again, work with patient's comfort. When doing sliding cupping technique, after applying the cup suction to the comfort of the patient, you move it gently again to patient comfort and if there is a part where it snags or you can't really move it understand that that might be painful to the patient i do this uh, sliding technique for about 10-15 seconds in the involved area release immediately if it hurts and reset the cups as necessary at the end of course massage the body area and reapply the suction cups as necessary but be sure to massage at the end In this video, I'm showing how you can move the cup to various areas. Give a pause for a moment, leave it there, look at it, look for redness underneath, and move it then afterwards. You can keep an eye on how things are going underneath the cup and monitor the movement. Another way to do a sliding technique, it's a little more active, and I don't have a video of it, is to actually hold onto the suction cup while the patient moves the arm or the leg or the body part back and forth underneath the cup. So there's still a movement of suction, but the patient gets to control it. This works great for people who are feeling a little sensitive about the amount of inflammation there. So try it out. And as always, at the end, massage the body area. The active loaded technique is where you're going to apply one or several cups in the area involved and then the patient will do loaded contractions or perhaps just gentle movements of that joint. The goal is to overwhelm the whole area, if you will, and pull up the inflammation all at once. In this case, uh, the next video coming up is for a lateral knee and then I'll have one for a medial knee applying multiple cups, which is great for IT bands, calf muscles, long chains of areas. And again, quickly release and rub down to disperse the areas of inflammation. 
active movement cupping, the patient moves the body area. This is a video of using movement cupping with multiple cups on the anterior lateral knee pain. The person's moving the leg back and forth and just going with how they feel the tension at different positions. Now the person's doing the quad sets with the cups in place. And you can see now how much redder the tissue has become underneath. And then after a few seconds of, what, about 30 seconds of doing the cupping, you can see a small red circle, but there's no bruising. Quickly release all the cups and then massage down the area. I use the cups actually to do a lot of the massage, sort of pushes the tissue around pretty nicely just to disperse it all. Now some movement cupping for medial knee pain. The cups have been set up to surround the area which was painful, the pes anserine medial thigh muscles, and then the patient is asked to move the knee back and forth, going from a kind of a passive movement and then standing up and loading it to a squat and applying more tension throughout the entire cupping procedure. Thank you for reviewing this video that I've created on how to use cupping for removing inflammation. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at makani.lu at palmer.edu.